I finally added a Burberry trench coat to my wardrobe and in today's video, we're gonna talk all about it. Let's dive in. When it comes to adding a layer to your wardrobe for fall, maybe winter and spring, depending on your climate, it doesn't get any more classic than a trench coat, which is one of the reasons why I knew that I wanted to add a Burberry one to my wardrobe. So I've actually had this on my wish list for many, many years. And I don't really know why it took me so long to add it to my wardrobe. As you know, the last three-ish years, I've started adding more ready to wear to my collection. I did add a Louis Vuitton coat, which I probably should share that soon with you guys as well. But I knew that I wanted to add a Burberry trench coat for a neutral kind of classic lighter layer. I live in Texas, so the climate is definitely a lot warmer. However, we have definitely been getting colder winters, so I definitely feel the need to invest in lighter, kind of thinner, not super thick and heavy bulky jackets or coats for our winter wardrobe, and I just felt like now was the time to finally add a Burberry trench coat. Burberry does offer three or four different silhouettes when it comes to their classic trench. I was only considering two. I was considering the Kensington, which is gonna be the classic kind of old school fit, or the Chelsea, which is the slimmer fit. Still a classic cut, but in a slimmer fit, which is the one I ended up going for. And they also offer three different lengths, which is gonna be a short length, a midi length, and then a longer length. Mine is the midi length, but keep in mind, I did have mine altered. So even though mine is the midi length, I did have to have it altered because I am on the shorter side. For, so just for size reference, I would say that I am an average kind of size two, maybe size zero right now. And I am five foot one, five foot two, about five foot one and a half. Sometimes I say five foot one, sometimes I say five foot two. So that just kind of gives you an idea. But keep in mind, I did have mine altered specifically to me. So speaking of having it altered, let's go ahead and dive in to the sizing details of this. I will say, I just want to be really transparent with you when it comes to this. I originally ordered a few of these online and I really, really struggled with finding the right fit for me. They all were way too tight in the shoulder area. And I wouldn't say that I am like really, really broad shoulders. I wouldn't say I'm narrow shouldered either. I am bigger in the chest, but um, I really had a hard time with the shoulders, not the chest area, the shoulders specifically. And that was a real big problem for me. So I ended up going in store into the Burberry location to try this one on, which is where I ended up getting mine. I am gonna link some down below for you if you just wanna look at the silhouettes and the styles just to kind of have a better idea before you go in the store. It can be a little bit intimidating shopping ready to wear in these stores sometimes. So I'll put some information on the different styles down below so you can kind of check out the details. But I will also say this, I tried on four different of these in the same size and they all fit me different, which was a little bit discouraging, I will also be honest. So I ended up trying multiple sizes. I tried size two, four, six, and eight, and I actually found that some of the sixes fit the same as some of the eights, some of the fours fit the same as some of the sixes, and I ended up ultimately going up two or three sizes and then having them tailor it down to me. So I had them tailor several areas of this jacket, especially the link, especially the arms, so that it was the perfect fit for me. And that's actually what I recommend you doing. If you go into the Burberry store and you buy it directly from Burberry, they will tailor it at no extra charge, at least for the first time. Now, I don't know if I could ever take it back later to, to tailor it again, I probably not. But for that initial purchase, I did not have a fee whatsoever for them to tailor this one to my specific sizing. So I definitely recommend you are gonna to wanna to go up multiple sizes in this and then tailor it down. That's gonna give you the best fit. I feel like a lot of times when it comes to sizing, we kind of get that tag, that number fatigue where we don't wanna go up a size. But the truth of the matter is if you're gonna invest this much money in a luxury jacket, I recommend going with a fit that fits you best and not looking at the number. I think the sizing is not at all appropriate to today's sizing calculator. So keep that in mind. We definitely have more of a vanity sizing when it comes to our clothing these days. And I think that they've kind of stuck with that original OG sizing. So keep that in mind. And just in general, all of the silhouettes, even the Kensington was very tight in the shoulder area, but the Chelsea is even tighter in the shoulder area. So I would say maybe go up maybe one or two sizes in the Kensington, and then maybe go up two or three sizes in the Chelsea, depending on which fit you prefer. Next up, I just wanna talk about the actual overall look of the trench. If you're gonna order this, and you're just expecting to open it and just 
be blown away by the style or the look of this trench. You're not gonna be. I just wanna burst your bubble now because the truth of the matter is, it is just a classic, simple, timeless trench. They have not changed the look and the overall vibe of this coat since they basically created it many, many years ago. So it has all of the touches that you would expect from a classic trench, but it isn't flashy. It is just very, very simple. You've got the flap here in the back. You've got all the details that you would expect from a classic trench, um, just done in a very classic way. I love the fact that you can pull up the collar to kind of show that touch of plaid, which I love. And the plaid is the original check. So it does have a little bit more of that kind of yellow kind of vibe, just keep that in mind. I will say I personally prefer the newer check of the Burberry plaid, but just so you know, it is the older school kind of check and I just feel like it works for this specific item. So here is the interior and as you can see, it also says the style that you end up getting. So I got the Chelsea and it says made in England. Not all of their trenches are made in England, but the classic styles like the Chelsea and the Kensington are. That's another reason why I really wanted to stick with one of those silhouettes. So I wanted the trench to actually be in England or made in England. And then another thing that I do want to mention is the fabric. I can already tell, even though I've only worn this once, that the fabric is definitely going to wrinkle pretty easily. That is just the nature of this specific fabric. And they were all like that, just to kind of give you another idea, just so you know, like there isn't one specific trench that they have that's gonna be a little bit more, you know, wrinkle resistant. They all are gonna be like that, which, you know, I guess it just kind of is. When I look at pictures and videos and, and stuff of other people wearing these, I did notice that, but um, it didn't really bother me. I mean, I would just say send it to the cleaners every once in a while, steam it from time to time, and just make sure that you hang it whenever you're not wearing it so that it can at least lay flat on a hanger, like hang flat on a hanger, you know what I'm saying, so that it can kind of get rid of any wrinkles as opposed to it being like laid over a chair or something. So here it is, here's where how I will primarily wear it is more kind of half open here with the tie around it. I probably won't ever actually use the belt. I will use the belt as a tie and then unbutton the buttons here from the pockets to be able to get my hands in there. We've got extra buttons in case, so I will definitely save those. But I'm just really, really impressed with the quality of this piece. Um, and even just the tailoring, look at how it fits me so perfectly. They did such an amazing job with the tailoring here. They send it somewhere local. So whenever I was in-store shopping, they had someone come and meet there. I think uh, someone downstairs, I think, and kind of like over by the ice skating. And then they just kind of did me right there in the fitting room. They kind of pinned a few areas and didn't even have to do. He just kind of touched it in a few areas and just it was so quick and so easily and it was done in less than a week but I'm just really really impressed with this I think it's such a beautiful timeless piece and do I necessarily think it's worth the money no unless you're just into luxury like I am I just feel like adding pieces like this to my collection to my wardrobe having pieces like this just makes me feel I don't know I just I love wearing pieces like this I love feeling like I am just wearing a piece that is timeless and classic and something that I can literally wear for the rest of my life and even pass it down to a daughter-in-law one day or you know a grandchild a granddaughter one day it's just such a classic piece that I can have forever so there you have it all of the details on my newest ready to wear piece, my Burberry trench coat, the Chelsea fit. All of the details will be linked down below. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I do a lot of fashion and luxury videos here, so make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.